How's it going guys? Welcome to Beard Manners. My name is Jason and today we're going to be talking about whether using beard products such as oil, balm and butter in beard wash helps the actual overall growth of your beard. So, it's a difficult question to answer that because I, I would lean towards both yes and no. The reason I would say no is because purely just putting beard products on is not going to make your beard necessarily grow better. If you were to put beard products on the palm of your hand, you're not gonna start growing hair. So directly, no, it doesn't. However, using good products and using a good routine does potentially help beard growth. A lot of this is gonna depend on your beard and it can also help, it's gonna help the overall quality of your beard because it's gonna give your beard the best of itself. Now what I mean by that is if you're doing everything right, then what you're doing is looking after yourself. You're looking after the skin, you're looking after the beard, you're keeping it healthy. And in that, by doing that, like I just said, you are going to be rewarded by getting the very best out of your beard and the skin beneath it. And the reason that these things can help, so let's start with the oil. If you're using a good quality oil, actually I'll tell you what, we'll start with the wash because that is a vital part of this. So the first thing is you want to be using a good beard wash if you really don't want to be using a beard wash, then try and use something that's sulfate free. You'll always see on these chats, people say, I use this, I use head and shoulders. That's all great. You know, you can use whatever you want and it's going to clean your beard. No one is saying that head and shoulders, shampoo or Tesco's own brand won't clean your beard. That's not really the point. But the problem is beards are very harsh. They're very dry naturally. You can use cheap products. You can use basic products. You can use just standard hair wash and you're still going to have a beard. Your beard's not going to fall out. Maybe someone that just uses these things has a better beard than I have. But by using all of the right stuff and doing it the right way, their beard would be better than it is on them, on me, on all of us. That, that's the pure facts of this. So using something, a good beard wash should be sulfate free. Um, you know, again, you, this is where it's a bit of a difficult one because it's, you need to research the brands to find these things out. Google what's good for beards and what's not, you know, and, and find out from there. But yeah, starting with the beard wash, you want to use something that's very delicate to your beard. It wants to be giving it a light wash. You don't want to be stripping the beard or the skin beneath the beard of its natural goodness and its natural oils. You also don't want to be stripping out the very expensive beard products that you're putting into your beard and into your skin to help it to improve and to replace the oils that you're regularly using just by having a beard. So you don't want to be overwashing and you don't want to be using a strong wash. Even with a good beard wash, my personal recommendation would be to aim to wash it between two to three times a week. I aim for two on that basis. If I have a day where I might get my beard extra grubby and it just needs to wash, I can do it. If I don't need to do it, then I've only washed it two and that's fine. Some weeks I'll only even wash my beard once a week. And if you were to test this, I know a lot of guys out there are like, yep, yeah, I do a physical job, I work out. I work out, I work out extremely hard for years of having a beard. I ran and worked on a removals company. It was, you know, I was regularly burning six, seven, eight thousand calories a day and then going home and working out. But as soon as I listened to the advice about the wash, washing the beard and I cut down the washing of the beard, I saw a very quick increase in how good my beard felt and the relief of the itch as well because I wasn't stripping my beard of everything that it needed. Feel free to rinse your beard daily if you'd like to, if you really want to. Again, I don't personally. Um, I will shower or bath every single day, but three or four days I just leave my beard to it. If my beard's feeling a bit dry or if it's feeling a bit dirty or a bit grimy, then I'll rinse it with warm water. Uh, and again, I try and have my routine days of when I put the wash in. So that's gonna give you the basics and the foundations of a good healthy beard. From there it becomes, and, and with everything I'm gonna, like with beard wash, make sure you get it into the beard and get it into the skin as well. You want something that doesn't lather up too much because again, you don't want that deep wash. You just want you want to cleanse almost. So get the get the beard wash into the skin, get it right in there, get it into the beard. I tend to put my beard wash on at the start of a shower, then I'll wash my body, do everything else, and then right at the end, I'll rinse my beard out again. You can use beard conditioner if you'd like to. Some people do, it's a preference thing. We don't personally sell conditioner. A lot of our customers are asking for it, so I will bring it out for those that are asking for it. But I'm also always gonna be honest. I feel that if you're using a good quality butter, which ours is, then you don't really need a conditioner as well because a butter acts as a leave-in conditioner. We'll come to that towards the end. So we've, been, we've hit the wash, then comes the beard oil. So what you want to be doing is ideally applying the oil to the skin at least, well not at least, sorry, twice a day, once to twice a day, depending on personal preference. 
You don't need much. I say this in all of my other videos as well. Little and often is the key. Consistency is the key here. You don't need to be putting loads on. You can watch a lot of videos by big brands out there. I'm not going to name any. I think most of you know who they are. And they'll have their models put pipit after pipit after pipit fall in their hand. Do all this. Well, half of it's just been into, gone into their hands and the pouring in their hands, particularly the dry part of your hands and your palms. Then they just lather it up in the beard. Firstly, that's not going to get to the skin. And secondly, is all you're going to do is every time you touch your beard, you're going to get oily fingers. No matter what type of oil you use, what quality it is, it just doesn't soak into the beard as well as some of the other products does. It makes your beard feel good. It is good for the beard. There's just better. There's just better tactics you can use better things you can do, better applications you can use to avoid that greasy, oily feeling in your beard and still have the quality. So use that pipette, four to five drops on the skin. Those of those that subscribe already, I say this in every video, sorry about this, but yeah, four to five drops on each side of your cheek, each cheek, couple on your chin, massage it in, that's it. From there, you want to give your beard a good old brush, particularly with something like a boar's bristle brush, because what's it, what a boar's bristle brush is gonna do is to help to exfoliate the skin. It's going to help to release any grime or dirt from those pores. It's going to help get the oil in there. It's going to help take away any dead skin. So, you know, you, you get, you're going to get the oil in there, exfoliate it in, get that, use that brush to sort your skin out underneath as well and keep it nice and fresh. You want to comb regularly as well. A lot of guys, a lot of this also depends on your beard and your beard's thickness, its density, its length. I carry a comb everywhere I go. I'm constantly combing my beard just to keep the tangles out and as much as anything to brush the crumbs out because I can't eat a single thing without my beard catching it. So comb regularly, use the oil to the skin, use a good brush to brush into the skin to help exfoliate the skin. You've then got your balms and your butters. Balms are really good, as most people know by now, for giving your beard a bit of style and hold. You know, in my case, that's my cheeks. I won't go full over the top of this, but my cheeks are quite long. So I'd need a good balm just to keep it tame and hold it into place. Doesn't necessarily help the health of the, health of the beard, but again, indirectly what it does is helps to create a natural growth pattern for my beard. You can, it can almost help to train your beard. And then you've got beard butter, which is like a leave-in conditioner. So again, what you're doing is getting the oil to the skin and using the other products for the beard itself. And with a good beard butter, what it's gonna do is, like I just said there, it's gonna act as a leave-in conditioner it's going to really get into the beard, soak into it well, give it loads of nourishment, really look after it. It's going to make the beard feel nice and soft, which is going to potentially help it, which is going to potentially help it fill out as well. And again, it's not saying that if you've got a thin beard, it's going to make it pop out like a mane. But what you are going to get is by doing everything that I've just suggested, guys, is you are going to get the best out of the beard that you have got. So in short, does beard oil in particular and beard products help the growth of your beard? Again, no, but in a roundabout way, doing things the right way, of course it does, and it's gonna help give you the very best of your, of your beard as well. It's a very popular question that, which is why I wanted to hear on it. So, you know, hopefully this one's helped. I know it's got sim I've got sim similar topics in a lot of my other videos to this, but sometimes doing videos like this and putting a new title on, people wanna see these things. It's a video I've been asked to do a few times as well, so I thought I'd do it. Um, things coming up, so, Firstly, an announcement about the shop's going to be shut this weekend. I'm spending, I'm actually having the first weekend off since opening the shop. We're going to be going away and doing a bit of family stuff. Online will be open as normal. The only thing I would say, guys, is if you want those orders, try and get your orders in by sort of Thursday night. I'll, I'll, I'll come into the store and pack some stuff and ship it on Friday morning. But if anything ordered after that is not going to get shipped until at the very earliest Monday. So there might be a slight delay in some of the online orders if you're ordering from Friday morning onwards. So try and get those orders in now. Try and get them in soon if you want them for early next week or over the weekend. Um, you guys might have seen I'm pushing to try and get subscribers on the YouTube channel. Now the main reason for that is because we've got a giveaway coming up soon. I'm not going to say too much about it. There's no point me doing a giveaway while I go away. But it's going to try and be a decent giveaway this. It's going to be a YouTube only giveaway. I will obviously share it on the other media platforms for people to see it. But you, you, it'll be something you've got to do on YouTube if you want to be in a chance of winning this. It's going to be mainly merch. There might be a few other things in there as well. I'll see how generous I'm feeling. It all depends on how my family break goes, I suppose. Um, and and, and it depends on how much people subscribe and like and comment on the videos as well, because that all helps. The more worthwhile it is for me, the better I can do the giveaway. So guys, as always, I hope this has been a helpful one. A bit shorter than normal, hopefully, as well. I know I've hit a lot of this before, but hopefully it's answered a more broad question for you. Keep those suggestions coming. Um, I will hopefully be doing a video soon about my diet and what I eat, because that's been asked quite a lot. And also something I do want to do, this isn't a definite yet, because I've got to practice it and I am practicing it. It's something I'm looking at. 
I'm hoping to soon be doing whiskey reviews. I know a lot of you guys out there that follow me like your whiskies as much as I do. It's something I've never really done before. I have done a review on the coffee brand I use in one of my earlier videos. I was a lot more nervous then. But yeah, so you know, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep following because I'm looking to do a lot of different things. I want to do more personal stuff going forward. This doesn't, I don't want to keep this purely about beards all the time. Um, as much as I love the beard, there's other things I love too and I'd love to share that with you guys. Anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you all soon. Take it easy.